They keep buffing his ult, but you have to get the ult off, and I feel like against Shaker, it might be difficult. Dying and the Terra Blade. Oh, there's our early spin here. Collapse is going to be dying as uh, there's nowhere for him to go to, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The chaining off the Fissure, the spell does a lot of follow-up damage. Little goes like this, he really helps. And Collapse, he does not need much follow-up damage as he just claims the skeleton, Ooh. but will pay the back-end price. Those phase boots already up for Ramses. Yeah, and that's not even level six picked up for the Earthshaker, who is, uh, he is gonna get that level six before Laurel. Collapse in trouble, uh-oh. He doesn't have the upheaval up. One more second, but he can't get it out in time. Ramses picks a third kill in this lane. Boy, Lotus on Maposhka, so he's not gonna die so easily, but Antares can keep him kited around and force those resources out of him. Goes for another one, and Maposhka does successfully bait him in. He's Team Spirit need to start playing through him. Chainstone's not gonna be good enough. Maposhka leaves the tombstone behind the tower. They'll quickly address that and address the Undying. Oh, the damage is racking it. Oh, what a blast off. Actually lands onto the Ember Spirits, who might have gone back in for the kill on Kiyotaka. He's still going to try. Here. Kiyotaka turns around with the Echo, hits it on Mira. They get the roar onto the Ember Spirit at the same time. They're going to clean up everybody from Spirit, unless Mira barely gets out in time. They've been doing that for a long time. Ever since the DPC started, basically. Antares, Starstorm is going to be able to finish him off. Mira picking up a kill without losing his life for once. Oh no, Miro coming in from the side, but they don't have enough stuns. Fisher. Oh, the Fisher comes in. Echo, no, Echo. No. Where he was it? Blinked forward, maybe thought he had more time or something. Temps from Team Spirit. Sustain just too much right now. He'll talk a very aggressive. Oh, he's we'll echo echo. Is that enough? Chain stun the blast off. It's going to come in and lands. He did not expect that one. Laurel didn't have the him. remnant. Yeah, he had the remnant coming out, but. Didn't get very far out. Kiyotaka is out of mana here, so he's going to be struggling in this fight. Looks like he's bad. You're in entertainment. Get used to it. That is true. So had a lot of time to think about how... Yeah. And Nine Pandas don't have the easiest Tombstone Killers because they have the three melee cores that have to get in there. Only the Jug has attack speed. I guess you have Inner Beast Aura, but... If you can start the fights on one of the cores and draw like this... Okay. They're going to try and attempt Roshan here, but uh, it seems like somebody has thought better of that option. I mean, this is Team Spirit's Roshan, in my opinion, with the Tombstone, with the Terror Blade. BKB on Collapse, they but he get can't get it off. Uh, like that, a hero that doesn't have buyback. Instant smoke, they want to catch Moonlight Shadow. Gonna hide Team Spear for now, that Hawk going in, but Yatoro wants to turn. Trying to surprise him, but the Decrepify is gonna help out here, and the Earthshaker comes in immediately, chain stunning up. Yatoro still has the Echo, holds on to it for now. Jumps away just before the chains can come out from Laurel, and he'll get a little bit of a heal from Solo. So if they allow them to be able to reset, it's not good. He goes in for it, man, to dodge, but no, that just helps the Echo Slam do all the more. Fisher, Fisher lined up, hits Laurel, chain stun, he's dead as well. The re-engage from Nine Pandas. Just way too good. They go and bait the meta, bait the tombstone, reset, get out of that zone control, and just dunk, dunk the Terror Blade into oblivion. Kiyotaka is getting out of control with this Axe timing right here. Do not have the lockdown for him. It's got to be cut. Oh, I guess that's the lockdown. Cut down from okay. <laughs> Collapse, being able to hit him with the Onslaught. Well, you so can't that leave. There's a matchup works. Back into it around the Roshan pit. Grab the Juggernaut while he's spinning. If they only had the physical damage to kill him, it would have been fantastic. Onslaught on through two. But now he's going to be on the Slash once again. And again, Collapse is going to fall to the Fury of the Blades. Bounce back in. Laurel's still in deep, though. And he's going to die as well as Ramses quickly cuts him down with a big crit. The scary part about that idea is the fact that you are... If you go in, it means you're okay. naturally grouping up for the Echo Slam, which is going to be put to work onto Maposhka. Yutoro quickly using a Sunder to was get himself back up to full. Not that great a Sunder. No, it wasn't, but they can also get the pick off here. Oh, no, he's actually going to live thanks to the pipe and collapse. Moonlight Shadow, finally the vision is revealed. Solo gets it with the dust. They catch Mira as well as he tried to leap on out. And he is hitting hard. These totems are hitting for a thousand damage already. Hello. Goodbye.
And this is a good hero for Kiyotaka. Cause he These, so there is still a chance for them to be able to collapse needs to get a hold of Ramses. The, the base against this Aegis. Really easy oh, poke though. Nine Pandas, he found Laurel. Laurel does manage to get away. That's going to be an Echo Slam used. Nine Pandas, they want to keep this going without their ultimate. Kiyotaka just short of having enough damage to burst that Ember through the Flame Guard. Oh, almost got Mira there, yeah. This damage is intense. Fisher on to two, pops BKB. Beware of the arrow. Just walk Collapse in. is going to grab him through his BKB. Nice Primal Roar, but Kiyotaka cannot get far enough away. Laurel, oh, he jumped away right as the Omni Slash was on top was of him. That was just the mini. He still has a big one. Ooh, we have the Swiss Slash, but the Omni Slash still ready to go. Another. Now the Sunder going to be used again. A Sunder that really didn't do that much. Rams oh, not that close. Collapse in the back. Collapse, though, does do. Push them back in. Blast off. Lands onto the two of them, though. Ramsey's. He starts going to work, and he still has that Aegis. So Team Spirit's just trying to kite him right now. And Maposhka uh, trying to do it, but the Swiss Flash allows Ramses to stick on some of these heroes. Cannot get away. Now Kiyotaka back in a play. They do manage to get that stun, trying to finish up these Aegis, but the Decrepify Drain brings down the Terror Blade, and he does not have the buyback, whereas Ramses had the Aegis to be able to work with. Double buy for Spirit. They want to defend this Tombstone. Ramses just walks up, takes it, and there's still a cheese. On the shaker Arrow here. in for the side. That's a nice one. Can they kill him? The blast off goes off, trying to delay some of this damage and collapse. He went for the squishier heroes instead of Ramsey's. God, like, nobody. Leading up, Laurel going in. Chains locks him down. Collapse coming back in once again. Has his ultimate. Eats the cheese, though. That back up ward. to full, and he is pretty damn full. Oh, you know Team Spirit won one of these cores for their trouble, especially the dieback on Kiyotako would be huge. Just so damn tanky, and these Swiss Slashes are causing some serious issues. Ramsey's, he just a couple hits, and then Swiss Slash puts you in danger. Both teams committing a lot of buybacks for this push. Nine Pandas want one more lane if they can get it. Solo Bomb back to give him the sustain. Ramsey still feels untouchable here as he pushes to 10 and 0. Swiss Slash back Woo! up, and another corpse for the blade. He is Ooh. feasting out here. 18,000 net worth lead. And are they going to just try and finish the game? Terra Blade's back up in a second here. This is very bold. Doesn't have meta for 20. But yeah, he, he's still strong if you can connect him and a Collapse Ultimate. Okay, they're just going to hit... No, maybe? Yes, he's pushing this. I mean, your time to go is now if you're Spirit, since some of the Nine Panda Heroes are still far. I mean, he's, he has Omni Slash back up for Ramsey, so maybe he's thinking his Omni Slash is equal to the meta. It's probably better than the meta. Spear will hold their last racks, but Nine Pandas, I don't think they're ready to leave. I mean, Soul can also just blast this down. They really want to slow siege it, but Ramsey's has no intentions of taking this game slowly. Marl had to go in, away from the Earthshaker, and he's out of mana now. They do manage to grab Miro into the arrow. That lands, collapse, though, is going to take the full Omni Slash out. Yatoro could do nothing to stop that one. And Yatoro, he can't defend this melee barracks. He has to back up and reset. It's going to be Megas. Just can't hit anybody. He's got roared during his BKB. Then he tries to hit GG. the Beastmaster. The Beastmaster gets decrept. I mean, then he's disarmed. And all the answers for the Terror Blade and none for the Juggernaut in this game. And that was just kind of the story from the lane phase onward. Yeah. Early phase boots really decided a lot of this game for Ramses as he makes the most of that early lane phase and is off off to a very fast start compared to an Illusion Hero that he just outfarms consistently. Also, the fights. Man, the read goes from Nine Pandas were on point in this game. They were very disciplined about not fully engaging in the Tombstone of the meta, just drawing out those engagements. And then once those spells are down, you're not really afraid of too much here. Even if the Kiyotaka Shaker didn't crazy snowball off some crazy lane matchup, it was enough to shut the Ember down. And I mean, where was the impact from Marl in this game? We go back to it. I feel like Marl is a yeah. very criticized player. I feel like he gets a lot of flack for this, but at the same time, okay, yeah, you have a bad matchup, but you could still make some other type of kills happen in this game, right? You can go and play with the Marana, you can get some chain kills, maybe threaten the Beastmaster. I think it's hard to rotate into the Jug, but... Team Spirit needed something else going.